she found a mash cake for her son's birthday party. She then stole some balloons from a children's hospital. While there, she cut the electricity to the building and set several cars on fire. Then, when the cops arrived, she cried out that it was all good. The cops promptly turned around and drove away. The burning cars exploded hurling flaming wreckage towards the children's hospital, as well as the school across the street, and the senior citizen's retirement home next to the school, as well as the puppy adoption center on the other side of the school, as well as the homeless shelter down the street. She sped away in her luxury vehicle, running over a family of adorable ducks along the way. She then backed her car up and ran over the formerly adorable duck family again. When she arrived back at her house she brought the mash cake and stolen balloons inside. She said nothing to her husband and son as to how she acquired the items. She then went upstairs and popped a squat in her son's bed. After pinching a long, solid, fudgy loaf on his pillow, she grabbed a large box and placed it inside. She then wrapped the box in newspaper and brought it downstairs to give to her son. But before she could, the doorbell rang. She walked to the door and opened it for her son's guests. There were several of his classmates as well as their parents who excitedly entered with brilliant presents in hand. As the party raged on, her son started opening his presents from his classmates. As she watched she grew angrier and more jealous with every gift he opened. Finally, he came to her gift to him. She rushed over to him and snatched the box from his tiny, kitty hands and screamed, Don't bother! before opening the box herself and dumping the large, greasy, foul-smelling turd onto his mash cake. She then placed a large candle in the center of the mash cake and lit it. As the shocked party guests watched, they awkwardly began singing happy birthday to her son. Shut up, she yelled, shoving her son's head into the mash cake doo-doo combo. Because the candle was still lit, part of her son's hair caught fire and she grew angrier. She dragged him kicking and screaming across the room and out into the front yard where she promptly called the neighbor's large dog over to pee on her son's head. The dog not only peed on his head, but also went doggy diarrhea on his face. As the shocked parents and classmates looked on, crying in disbelief, she yelled at her son, Your daddy is not really your daddy. In fact, I don't know who your daddy is. Happy birthday. With that, she popped a squat on the driveway and ran out into traffic with her underwear around her ankles screaming uncontrollably.